Welcome to week 10, and this is the video that starts at slide number six. So please go to the ITSE course in DC Connect and select the Activities tab, then the Assignments menu, and open the cover letter resume assignment document that's posted so that you can see the exact due date and time for this assignment for your class. And then I'm going to walk through this assignment in the rest of the videos um, and in class. That's, that's what we're doing this week. So the first thing that you're going to do, you'll see on the assignment, is find a job posting. In order for your cover letter and resume to be targeted to a specific job, you need to have a job that you're applying to. So. What I want you to do is find one that ideally um, is suitable for somebody that's uh, going to be graduating from your program and it should also be a posting that has sufficient job details because sometimes they don't put any job information on so don't pick one of those and somewhere in the description at least one of your high five strengths should be mentioned. Now, it doesn't have to say exactly the same words that High Five uses, so it doesn't have to say coach it, it, you know, in the job description, but it should say something um, that's maybe synonymous for your High Five strength. So in this example, I've shown that you know, my High Five strength was coach, and so it requires you to train or maybe instruct or support. Um, this one, it says empathizer and peacekeeper. So, you know, if you have those high five strengths and you find a job posting where you have to work in with a team, then it might be um, one that would require or benefit from your high five strength. Okay, so where are you going to find these postings? Well, you can go to the career development website where they have links to some job boards that are relevant for IT or targeted for IT or include lots of postings for IT entry-level jobs. So you can access that in DC Connect or you can go to the hire.dermcollege.ca portal um, and access it that way on the website. Once you get there you need to log in and then click the program specific resources and it will give you a list of job boards. And so job boards are just huge databases. They're aggregators. They scrape the, the, the web, some of them, and find job postings and organize them on their database. And then what you're going to do, and this is key to making sure that you get the interview. Um, I've helped lots of students and other people find jobs and this activity right now, it's not part of the assignment. You don't need to hand it in, but I strongly encourage you to just complete this activity now and in the future when you're looking for jobs. So what you want to do is you want to go through the job posting and identify the kinds of tasks and duties that are important. So the things that they list that you're going to be coaching, supporting, um, using specific uh, programming languages or platforms or whatever. And then you want to go through on this side, like think about your experiences and maybe it's on your resume already, um, but you want to make sure, identify that you either have or do not have the skill. And if there are 20 things on this list and only two things that you have, it's not a good match for you. So see if the job is a good fit by doing this activity. And I also divided it kind of into soft skills. So if it says communication skills or something. So again, it's not part of the assignment, but these are all the things that you're going to want to be able to identify from the job posting so you can mention them on your resume or in your cover letter. And that will be our next step, which is to create a cover letter. 